Your standard boost controller is located under here. You can see the stall connection there. You just have to unbolt if you've got an extra bolt. There's three bolts, one there, one there, and one underneath inside there, and that takes this metal flap off. Let's do it quickly to show you. Ah, okay, I've got a cable tie as well, but you see, right, that comes off, metal box, boost controls in there, which is your standard two port that we are going to replace with a three port. And then, and out the turbo and it out back into the air intake so it doesn't lose any meter there. And it disconnects into the original Subaru plug. All right, let's fit that. Here's a better shot of the two port boost controller. The two port versus the three port, which has mounting lugs, but they don't quite line up with the mount lugs, so cable ties it is. Here's the three port boost solenoid in place. The blue line is the line from the turbo, that's the one that is on boost, you know, it shows your pressure. That one is the one that returns back to the air intake after the MAF, so after the MAF it goes back into the air intake in there. And the last one is the one that comes out either the top or the bottom of the T-piece, depending on what L-shape depending on which way up your valve is, and that one goes to the wastegate of the turbo, which is down in there somewhere. Plugs in, super plug there, its own plug there, a little bit of loom to join them together, and onto that metal, horrible metal bracket thing that I've horribly cable tied onto, you can fix it better if you want, and then back into place, bolt it on, and then take it to get remapped, because this will overshoot the boost because it doesn't control the same way as the other one. I, on the other hand, can turn down the side of X a lot on the boost.